What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Gregson and welcome to Shifting Lanes. Today I'm standing here in front of my 2005 Volvo V7ER because it is absolutely disgusting and I intend to clean it up today and make it look as close to perfect as I humanly can. Or at least I'm gonna try. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in, and if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell icon next to it to turn notifications on, that way you will be informed whenever we make and publish a new video on this channel. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. You guys know this car, this is my Volvo V70R, and as you can probably see, standing next to it, I mean, there's nothing but salt on it, it's really disgusting. And yeah, you should never do that to paint, but I just did anyway. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna clean this thing up. It is absolutely disgusting. We've had nothing but salt and brine all over the roads here in New Jersey for the last what seems like three to four to five weeks and it's caked on this car. But not only that, we are gonna clean this car up inside and out because we have our new white wheels that we need to clean. We have new center caps for them. We have new valve stem caps we're also gonna put on. And the interior of this car is just in a complete disarray because Quite honestly, when I had this interior out to redo the leather, I haven't really bolted everything back in perfectly because I thought we were going to do it again, take it out, and redo the cards. But with that said, we're going to make sure everything on the inside looks pristine. The whole trunk is apart. What we're gonna do today is get to work on putting it all back together and making sure it is on the up and up. Now to do that, we have to install a lot of things. Basically the whole trunk is apart, like I just said. We have a new steering wheel, we have a new e-brake handle, we have a new e-brake shift boot. Uh, we also have a bunch of other stuff we need to put on. The gauge pod is also, or the, the hood to the gauge pod is a little bit, you know, worse for wear in this car. Over there in the garage, I actually have a brand new one from Alex Spinner, he sent me a long time ago. So the first thing we're going to do is install this new steering wheel, the e-shift boot, or the e-brake boot, and the e-brake handle. And I have to bring this thing outside because you have to take a look at it in the light. It is just a work of art. It is gorgeous. Take a look at the stitching. It matches the Atacama interior. Oh man, it looks so nice. I can't wait to get this thing on. It, just, it looks incredible. Now, I have to give a shout out to the guys at Viva Performance, Connor and George. They helped me source this. This is actually a sport steering wheel with the navigation on the back, which is great because then I can keep my functionality. Basically, this is just plug and play. Um, this has leather wrapped on the bottom, or on the sides, Alcantara on the bottom and top, and it is a sport steering wheel without the R design, so we have a little silver piece here. And then that's it, this is just a normal e-brake boot um, that has been basically redone to be Alcantara, and same thing with the e-brake handle. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look in here, try to get all this stuff out, and then, that's pretty much it. We'll just write, uh, install it. This is pretty plug and play. And yeah, uh, so yeah, huge shout out to Connor and George at um, Viewer Performance. If you guys are looking for steering wheels, definitely get in touch with them. They do amazing work. They obviously um, have the steering wheels themselves and they refinish them. So yeah, get in touch with them. I will drop their information into the description below. So without further ado, let's actually just cue the time lapse and get to work. Let's first start on the inside with the steering wheel and all that stuff, and then we'll work our way all the way back. Let's get to work. I'm just going to enjoy this coffee. The old wheel is out. As you can see, the whole thing is apart. Uh, just a quick note on these that I noticed. Um, the wheels that come from Viva Performance don't have the uh, switches, but these are really easy to undo. There is a T10 uh, Torx that goes right here. It basically screws into this little hole here. And these connectors just go right in. It's supremely easy. Just get a little flathead screwdriver to get the clips on the inside and you should be good to go. So we're gonna put these back in, screw them in, can, uh, clip in the connectors and put it back in the car. So the wheel is in and holy crap, I even had a voice crack saying that. It looks so good. Check out the stitching against the leather guys it looks so good huge thank you to viva performance i cannot 
even describe how amazing this thing feels. You owe it to yourself to get your steering wheel refinished. I haven't even driven it yet and it feels like a new car. It's unreal. The price on this is a lot. Now, um, you can talk with Viva Performance about the actual pricing. Uh, mine, I had a bit of a snafu with what steering wheel it was and I had to actually get a new one. This, the brake handle and boot which I'm installing next, were about $1,000. Now again, that's not typical. That was my experience because I bought the wrong steering wheel. Uh, Connor actually had to buy mine. <laughs> it was this whole mess and um, you can probably do this with Viva for probably between $500 and $750 depending on what you want to do. Refinishing a steering wheel in your local area will probably be about the same price. So uh, I would highly recommend it, but man, that looks so good. I cannot wait to get this thing out on the road and get the new driving feel with the steering wheel. So next thing we're gonna do is the e-brake handle, the e-brake boot, and the gauge, uh, gauge cluster um, hood. So let's do that next. Let's check out the whole thing. We got the steering wheel, the boot, and the handle. This was a gigantic pain in the butt, but if you just put a flathead screwdriver down there like you, like I showed you, and basically tap it out with a hammer, you can kind of, kind of pry it up, pry it apart a little bit, and the whole thing kind of just comes off. Uh, just take a lot of elbow grease, but you can get there. The boot looks great. I'm gonna tuck that up in there so it doesn't look all janky. And man, what a difference. <laughs> with the matching stitching that man that doesn't just add value that adds really really good aesthetics so that looks awesome next to these re-dyed seats um, these are I think I mentioned it before they're kind of cracking a little bit they're a little dirty but we're gonna clean these up in the spring to make sure this as well as the rest of the interior looks on the up and up now next thing let's get this pod off and swap it out and also you can see the armrest which I've been rocking basically off for God knows how long. There's all the intricate interior parts that you'll never see. Uh, the leather piece needs to go back on because I haven't had it on in months. So yeah, let's get all that on now. What an ordeal, but the armrest is back in. Everything is pristine, it works perfectly. Now if you are doing this, a word to the wise, this little bit kind of comes off where these two rubber pieces are. You can kind of just grab these and pull. Behind there are two screws that hold this thing on. So you cannot see them, they're behind here. They're actually like right here. Um, this thing does not come out completely. Even with these two screws off, um, you're gonna have to kind of like bend and pry it a little bit. You may have seen me do that. So you get these two in. It's fairly simple, but it is a bit tricky. And then these two hold the rest of it on. So yeah, upper armrest in. The cluster hood is also in, very nice and minty. Uh, there's a screw here, a screw there, and then one, two, and three in the back. You probably saw me struggling a little bit. Uh, this is just trim that comes right off, and then there's four 
um, T20s, they're all T20s actually, these and the ones for the armrest. The T20s are for the actual cluster. You just take the cluster out and fold it down and you can get the access to the others. So, you might not be able to see it, but let me try to get inside a little bit. That is a nice and minty cluster pod. No tears, no separation. If you take a look at the old one, you can see there is nicking going on. There's some fraying going on there with the stitching. It's just not a great, it's not in horrible shape. This thing can absolutely be refurbished. There's actually no separations, which is kind of nice. So yeah, um, another part down, looking a lot nicer. Let's get, <laughs> let's get all this crap out of here and let's put together the trunk because I think that's the last thing we need to do today. And then the piece de resistance is gonna be the center caps and it's going to look really cool. And then we're gonna to go to the car wash and make it look really nice. Actually, I completely lied. The piece de resistance are these. These are new caps that are going to be going on the, well, I can't really get a good angle here, but here, they're black right now. We're spray painting them white and they're gonna match the wheels. So let's spray paint those as well as do everything else I just said and get everything kind of on and then we'll go to the car wash. So the car is basically back together and it looks so much better. Everything is good. This actually got tucked up in there, which is nice. Everything looks great up front. All the stuff is cleaned out. Actually, let me close this armrest and it'll look even better since it's not, you know, <laughs> total shambles. That all looks good. Oh, hey guys. Back seats, the mats are back in, the seat belts are back. Full focus. The car seat is in perfect position. Seat belts are back tucked in perfectly. Front plate, everything looks good there. And of course, even better, everything is so organized and perfect in the back. Oh, it looks so good. This is great. I'm so happy. This looks super good, but we have one more thing. The center caps, let's check these out. Boom! Magic Blue Moose Center Caps. Now this is a standard normal Volvo center cap, you can see right there. It's basically the black ones with Volvo across it, but I sent it to a uh, friend uh, named Tim. He actually does a couple of things like this, so uh, he does not want to have too much notoriety for this, so if you guys want something like this, he can make it for you. But, um, yeah, get in touch with me and I can send you to him. He does not want his stuff kind of put out on the internet, kind of just like a side thing he does for fun. So yeah, let's put one of these on. I'm gonna try to line it up with this R. Oh, <laughs> that looks awesome. I can't wait to get this wheel clean so it actually looks, you know, somewhat normal, but that looks so good. Oh, I love that. All right, let's put the rest of these on and see how it looks. Okay, so there is the center cap, and there's the valve stem cap. So cool. This like bright blue. And of course, the matching white mousse with blue, or sorry, blue mousse with white background. And now we're all matching, and we have it all the way around, which looks so cool. All right, <laughs> that was a lot. So, um, I got a ton done. Um, basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the car wash, I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up, and then I'm gonna sign off for the day. Uh, I may do that tomorrow, so I may be in different clothes, but I think you're gonna really like the result. So this is part one, actually, of this video, but I'll go over that in a little bit, so give me one second, let's go to the car wash, let's get this thing cleaned up. I cannot wait to see how good this thing looks with all this salt gone, and those bright white wheels looking pristine. Let's hit it. All 
All right, guys, it's the next day. I have just taken this thing through the car wash and it looks spectacular. So let's do a quick walk around. And as I'm talking, you guys can see exactly how good these wheels look and how good this car looks uh, all cleaned up. Um, it just, I, I cannot describe to you how awesome this thing looks. It is so much better after the car wash. Um, everything I did looks super, super good. And I wanna show you one more thing in the interior before we sign off because it's a, such a nice little touch that I think you're going to really, really love it. So the last item we did was custom cup holder liners, believe it or not. These are just a rubberized piece. They fit right in. It's like a foam, actually. It, you know, it isn't anything crazy. You can kind of feel the R. It's separate pieces kind of fit into each other. And it just slides right in to the cup holder liner. Uh, some people may think that's a little cheesy. I actually personally love it. I think it looks so good. And I think it looks really cool um, with the tan leather and the orange R. And it's just a nice kind of, you know, it's a nice little attention to detail that you wouldn't find in another car like this. So there's a few more things that we need to do to get this thing almost pristine. Uh, we need to give this thing perfect stance and I have a set of wheel spaces I'm going to put on next time that uh, will make this thing look even more aggressive once the wheels are pushed out. There's a bit of rubbing on the inside and I think on the outside too. Um, I'm gonna go over how to put them on. They're a set from Viva Performance and we will see exactly how it does with the rubbing on the inside and outside once those are on. It's a set of 10 mil spacers. You'll see that in the next video. The other thing I did not get to do was the mirror caps. Now, you saw me uh, earlier in the video with them. They are getting painted white to match the wheels. So there will be a, basically a winter theme of blue and white. And I'm going to put those on next time. I just want the paint to cure for a little bit longer. I put on another coat this morning. I have about five or six coats of spray paint on them. Uh, I wanted it to be as, as thick as possible before getting them on because, you know, they're mirror caps. They're going to get stone chips and it's just going to be, you know, just an overall not great thing if you have a bunch of stone chips showing through to black paint so we'll get those on next time we'll get the spacers on next time and i think that this thing will be 90 to 95 percent there all we have to do then in the spring is re-dye the door cards clean up the carpet and this thing will be as new as it humanly can be without really doing a full tear down and restoration. Thank you again, a huge, huge, huge shout out to Viva Performance for that wheel and the uh, e-brake boot and e-brake handle. If you want to check out their products, just click the link in the description below. Not sponsored by them, just a bunch of good guys over there that helped us out um, with the wheel and the other stuff. Uh, also, if you want to check out FCP Euro, they have uh, been a sponsor of ours for a long time. We believe in them and uh, you can check them out in the description below as well. If you want to get in contact with us it is contact at shifting lanes you can follow us on social media at shifting lanes anywhere instagram twitter facebook and you can also support us if you do want to support us you can check the link in the description below uh, for our teespring account we are doing custom volvo t-shirts and right now we have all of our project cars up on there which is really really cool we have the v70r we have the s60r from hansen and we also have the c30 from chad so if you own one of those cars definitely check it out they are awesome t-shirts and we should be coming out with new designs in March and later. You can also support us on Patreon. We are about a third of the way there to our first ever Patreon goal of $100 per month. After that, we are going to add tiers and give out bonuses to all you guys that do support us outside of just watching these videos. So we really appreciate it. We love you guys for supporting us and thank you so much for all your support. Uh, the next video you see from me will be finishing this car up aesthetically and then we are going to get to our all wheel drive fix, which I finally have the parts for. So. Without further ado, let's get on to doing that in the next few videos, and I will catch you next time. See ya.